computer screen, smartphones, even these small arcade games all have colorful screens. However, the X-ray image is still black and white. Why? Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Professor Peter. The X-ray image is always black and white. In addition, in hospital, ultrasound image, CT, MRI images are all black and white. If we take colorful images, then it'll be better obviously, but in general, they are all black and white images. Why? First of all, let's talk about how we get the X-ray image. The X-ray is a kind of electromagnetic wave like lights or radio signals. It has very high frequencies and a very short wavelength. So it can penetrate the materials and it can change the structure of the chemicals and also it can kill cells. Because the X-ray can cause cancer, you have to avoid the X-ray exposure as much as you can. In our body, we have various kinds of tissues. Hard tissues like bones, soft tissues like fat and muscles. When the X-ray penetrates the tissues, the strength of the X-ray will be reduced. It is very similar like the strong sunlight is weakened because of the sunglasses. The level of reduction in X-ray strength is dependent on the tissues. For example, if the X-ray penetrates the bone, the strength of the X-ray will be reduced much. But if the X-ray penetrates soft tissues like fat or muscles, then that X-ray's strength will not be reduced much. We have special numbers that represent the level of strength reduction in X-ray depending on the material. It is called attenuation coefficient. Now, after the X-ray penetrates our body, let's shed that X-ray on the film. What's gonna happen? On the film, the part with the high level of X-ray will have high chemical reactions. The part with the weak X-ray will have less chemical reactions. If the black color represents high level of chemical reactions on the film and the white color represents the low level of chemical reactions on the film, then you're gonna have X-ray image like this. In the X-ray image, black and white are not meaningful as colors. They represent the signal's level, high or low. So even though you see white bones on the X-ray image, it is not because the bone is white, but because we assign the white color on the bone. Now we can ask this question, what if we change black and white in this X-ray image? Actually, there was an answer to this question before. This is the research result in 2013 from a medical research group in Germany. They used two groups of images, just traditional X-ray image and inverted X-ray images. In the inverted X-ray images, you have a black and white swapped. For example, in the inverted X-ray image, you have black bones and white muscles. In this research, a group of doctors were asked to find the pulmonary nodules from the two groups of X-ray images, traditional one and inverted one. Interestingly, they could found the pulmonary nodules from the inverted X-ray images more successfully than the other. Well, this research is focusing on this particular case, so we cannot generalize this result. But from this research result, we learned that we don't have to stick with the traditional way of X-ray image. In hospital, we take ultrasound image a lot as well. The ultrasound is a kind of a sound, and it has very high frequency, so we cannot hear it. The ultrasound wave can penetrate our body and it will be reflected on the boundary of soft tissues. 
by analyzing this reflected ultrasound and assigning black and white and gray on the signal, depending on the signal's strength, we can have black and white ultrasound images. Like the X-ray imaging, you don't have any way to get the color information from ultrasound image. It is possible to change the information about our body into sound information. In OBGYN, they use this machine to let you hear the sound of fetus heartbeat. It is called fetal Doppler. It looks like it amplifies the sound of a heartbeat, but that's not true. It detects the motion of a heart using ultrasound and it converts that motion signal into sound signal. So the sound from fetal Doppler is not actual heartbeat sound. So far, we talked about why the x-ray image is black and white. However, there is a place where you can find a colorful x-ray image. That's the airport. In the security checkpoint in the airport, they use this image to screen the inside of the luggages. It is obviously x-ray images, but it has colors. Well, that's not the actual color of the object. The x-ray system artificially assigned the color to objects. Because this is not for human body, the intensity of the x-ray is slightly higher than the medical x-ray image. So the image quality is slightly better and the system can estimate the density of the object. Based on the density of the object, the system assigned the colors for well-known explosives or dangerous materials, we know the densities, right? If we assign some special color to that density of a material, then the security guards can detect that suspicious material or object very easily. That's how this colorful x-ray image works. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.